So let's use ESP Home to create a Wi-Fi switch for controlling a light and add that light to Home Assistant. First, let's do some wiring. I will be using these components for my build. A Wemos D1 Mini ESP board. This is a very cheap and very practical way of adding an ESP Wi-Fi chip to your network. Then you need a relay module for actually switching the high voltage power. This one has two channels, but I'm going to be using just one of those. And a 5 volt power supply for both of those devices. Also an extension cord for connecting a lamp to this system. I will be adding the relay module to one of my existing systems. This is a motion sensor that works on radar technology. Very cool thing that detects movement through obstacles. I have it connected to the Wemos board with an optocoupler. That little component is inside this red tape. So let's start with cutting and stripping the extension cord. I don't need the grounding wire since I know there is no grounding in that place where I'm going to install this system. Now I'm pulling wires inside the box and making a knot to protect them from accidentally slipping out. And now I'm connecting one of two wires to the COM port of the relay. That stands for common. It doesn't matter which wire to start with since this is AC current. I'm going to use the leftover grounding wire for extending my connection from the relay. Colors don't really matter here. That's going to be connected to the NO port of the relay. That stands for normally open. And now we have two wires that we need to connect to the high voltage power. I have high voltage going to the radar sensor. So I'm just gonna slash those wires and solder our relay wires to them. And of course add some tape for protection. So now we are ready for connecting a lamp to the system. Next I'm going to connect 5 volt power to the relay module. I'm not using the 5 volt pins on the Wemos board because those may not provide enough current for the relay module. So I'm soldering these wires straight to the power supply. And applying some hot glue to keep those wires in place. Next it's time to connect the signal wire. I'm using the D3 pin on the Wemos board since it's a suitable GPIO pin for using as an output. And now I'm just putting all of this nicely inside this box. Here I decided to add a piece of non-conductive material to protect the Wemos board from high voltage. And now it's done. This is a sealed waterproof enclosure that I will install in my shed. Later I'm also going to add a temperature sensor to the setup since there are plenty of free GPIO pins left on that Wemos board. Now let's see how to configure this light switch. First you need to flash your ESP board with ESP Home firmware. If you need to know how to do that, check out my video in the description and please subscribe to my channel right now. So open the configuration file of your ESP board and pass in this code to configure the output signal for the relay. Don't worry, I will put all of this in the description for you to use. So give it any ID you want. Now relay modules often are activated by a low signal, so we need to invert the output signal. Next we're gonna configure the actual light entity. So pass in this code. Here you need to reference that output we just created. Next give your light some name and some ID. Then press save and wait till it says that it's in fact saved. And then close the editor. Now you need to validate your configuration. And when it says that it's valid, press upload. When it's uploaded, go to your entities in Home Assistant and search for your new light. And here it is, ready for all kinds of cool automations. Let's see how it works. Here is my Pandora's box, the high voltage output and a lamp. Yeah, now it's controllable through the Home Assistant. Here you see a red LED on the relay module identifying when it's on. So that's it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, I will be glad to help you. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more of that. Thanks for watching.